So let's talk about this update really quick. As you can see, the new kilowatt case have been getting a rent option where you get all the skins in the case except the knife, of course. You will be able to use them freely for seven days, but you're not allowed to put name tags on them or stickers or change them in any way. So this will be yours for seven days, then they're gone. So let's take a look how the market have reacted to this. So right away on the market, when this update dropped, you can see the skin or cases went from about 70 or 60 to 70 euro. Topped at 150 and now it's back at 1. 1 euro. But that's not good at all. Because, of course, the cases have gone up. But let's take a look at the actual items. Let's go for example a field tested. See how it went from 100 euro to about 80 euro. But when this update dropped, already down to 68. And it's not been out long yet, it's just dropped. All the skin prices will keep going down. As you can see, the minimal wear already going. Well, that's an accident. Factory new. Oh, if you owned one of these, damn, that's so bad. Let's take a look at the AWP as well. Let's start out with a field tested. From 60, 55 to 50 already. Even 49. Minimal wear. Already seeing the same kind of drop. And the factory new has yet to actually drop quite far. So this one's actually made it as long as it could. But this will start to go down as well with the rest of them. This might be the worst mistake they've ever done to the skins so far. Luckily, it's only the kilowatt case that this affects right now. If we take a look, see, it's even says rentable on this one. None of the other ones have that, so if you just take a look, you're only allowed to open this one normally. Whether this one would have said open to rent. So this is probably the dumbest decision you could make right now. As a company to implement this. So just to have it in the video, let's open one for real though. Let's see. But they have actually made a couple of other changes that's not completely stupid. Yeah. We got one. That's useless. Minimal wear. But let's take a look at the new changes they've made. So, the biggest change is of course vertigo. They've opened up from short directly into elevator. And they've removed this door completely. So if we go around to the back side here, you can see you can only go city side. There is no elevator room anymore. And they've added this catwalk behind like the headshot boxes. So you can sneak up behind them. So with a couple of new smokes blocking your line of sight, you can move directly behind the enemies. So they will have a new angle to hold. I don't know if this is a good update or a bad one, but I would say it's probably worse now than it was before. Play this map just yesterday, no issues at all, but with this new everything will change how you play. There is no reason anymore as a T to go B. A has just been so made so much easier to take as a T that you're only gonna play A site every round. And of course, one other big change is the new Molotov. The ability to actually see anything through them. You can see some new effects, the blue and way less smoke so you're actually able to see if there's anyone behind them that's actually a really good change for once so that's very welcome 
I feel like the burn duration has also been altered, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. So other than the visual changes to the Molotov or Incendiary, they actually lower the price of this as well. Same with the M4. It only now costs 3000 and the Incendiary 500 So if that's a good change, I would probably say it is. So the people will more likely be able to or choose to buy the M4 or A4 instead of the A1S. I personally still only play the A1S and would probably not change it. They've also changed how much money you get as T for planting the bomb, which is also quite an okay change, I would say, without any real game evidence to back that up. It's just my personal opinion. I think it's going to be a good change because once you start to get momentum on T side with money, you're going to keep that up quite easily because of their loadout being so much cheaper. So those have been the major changes in this update of almost 4 gigabyte this morning. Tell me what you guys think about it in the comments and hopefully if you have a lot of kilowatt skins from that case, you are not panicking too much, but I wouldn't be too sure they're gonna be able to keep their value. So hopefully you guys are managing just fine. But if you guys like this type of content and news updates, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming news. And see you guys in another video.